Welcome back to more of the guys, everybody. In the last episode, we made it here into the Upper Gooseville section. I'm gonna take this so I can keep going north from here. Yeah, we still have a few more side quests to complete, but I don't think I really have the capability to do that right now, so I'm just kind of seeing what I'm missing. Oh wow, I see a bunch of stuff over there. Oh my god, okay, I just kind of wanted to see that guy, what he does. So there's water over there, I can't go through that side. Hmm. I can't take the ceiling here, there's, there's giant saws like everywhere. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Hmm, there's a down and there's a left. Nice. Yeah, and I can't even take any ceiling climbing here. There's a bunch of saws everywhere, so... That's not gonna work. Here, I'm kind of just waiting patiently and then jump over both of them. Okay. Alright. And now... I feel like I can drop there. Shoot! Okay, that's gonna be a problem. What the hell? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Like, that's gotta be something, you know? Oh, I didn't get that. Okay. I think you can make it through there to get maybe some kind of secret item or something. That's what it appears to... No, I don't think there was anything in there. Because I dropped through all of them and there was nothing. From what I saw. Well, that was pointless. I just took a bunch of unnecessary damage, but that's okay, I guess. I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, you know, like, then, like, regret later, like, ooh, maybe there was something there. Okay, here I can... I guess I can just drop. Uh, sure, okay. And that's it for this room, alright. Next. This one is only going to be going up, well, wow, towards, like, the... End of the map over here. That's the that's the northernmost point of the map. Oh jeez. Make sure you can kill that guy there. Okay. I don't think there's anything up there either. Nope. So here we just do the regurgitate. I did not mean to- oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Great, I'm messing up a lot. Huh? No, you- I didn't want you to cling on to the- <laughs> There's so much that I really don't want. Oh no. Did I get him? Yes. I am down to two hit points, so this is not good. I took way too much damage. Like, way too much. Big room here. That's not good. It's these stupid diamonds, man. They take up uh, such a huge charge time. Okay, that guy killed himself. Oh my god, I'm down to one health. There's just no way. Get up there. Thank you. What? No, I didn't... I Oh my god. Don't you dare, controller. If this happens again, I'm gonna actually have to do a quick cut and switch pro controllers out. I hope it really doesn't do that, though. Oh boy. Okay, I made it through all of that. That's good. Are you not coming over here, dude? You little piece of trash. Oh, kill it. Kill it! God, those enemies are so hard to deal with. Like, they're seriously annoying. Give me a save point.
Where am I going? Okay, it's still a lot more to the left. Jesus, dude. I only have three hit points left. I was not... What? No way, man. Okay, also, are you kidding me right now? Go. I made it. Yes. Okay, that worked as I had hoped. This is crazy. Can I please reach a save point? Oh my god. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, those things are guaranteed to hit you every time. Shit, now I actually have to deal with these like the old fashioned way here. I'm down to one hit point again. I feel like I played as best as I could. And I've still gotten hit like nine times. Please. I need a save point. Shit. Is it even worth getting these? I am not gonna risk it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. Save point. This is the longest room ever. Kill it. Oh, thank god. Okay. Got that one. There's still more. There's still more. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my freaking god. There it is. Please give me a save point. Please, please. Game. Oh, thank god. I it had to have been. That was ridiculous. Wow. Just wow. We made it. That was probably the hardest gauntlet of the game so far. I hope it only gets easier from here. But probably not. More of this mechanic? Okay, it's a little overused now. Seriously, we've seen it way too much. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't then. Screw it. Okay, there's an enemy there. Another one. Oh boy. Go. Made it through. This room, okay, the exit's to the right. These are some long gauntlets. Oh my god. I hate those freaking helicopter things. Shit, I still took that hit. It's fine, it's fine. Just go, just go. Damn it! That's okay, that's okay. Make sure to heal. Where are we? There's a door here. Oh, that's... okay. That's the one. What is this? Not now, I'm far too busy. Go on, scram, get lost. I'm not seeing visitors right now. Alright, what the hell do you want? By the gods. Oh my god. Now, one thing I will say... Oh, shoot. Stop it! Okay, it doesn't have too much health, but I have to be extremely careful about this and what I do. Damn it! It's not very good right there. I'm trying to at least land one more of these. There we go. Yeah, you cannot stay in one place for that long. God, it stopped. <laughs> Freaking launching so much shit at me. Oh my god. What if you just stay close to him then? Like, I'm completely out of MP. I have to be very careful about this. Like... Oh my god, it's too much, it's too much. That's way too many projectiles. Stop getting to the... 
I need him to be in the middle, that's ideal, but he keeps going to the very right side. Okay, I'm getting some good hits there, actually. I think it's actually better if you just fight him up close. Got him. You win! Oh, that was crazy. Maximum HP has been reached. What? Are you serious? Okay, well... Let's go down. There's something here. Boat ticket! Seriously? Hmm. That's why this was closed. Okay, that, that makes sense now. Um, so with the boat ticket, I mean, I can now go. But, um, well, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just go. Yeah, I just don't know if we're ever going to get, like, you know, any... Any key to unlock? There's a lot of locked chests that I've found so far, and I don't know how to get those things. I hated this place. Those flying chopper enemies. Yeah. Not cool. Right down. And then from here, I think the best way yeah, is to go left. And we're gonna go down. Was it here? Go down. Oh my god. Where is the exit to go down here? Dude. Oh, here it is. Um, I guess we will, let's see, it's over there. Well, um, increases damage 25%. Personally, I don't really care about this. Wondering if I should just save my, I haven't used them yet, that's the thing. I'm gonna actually save my money. Let's go. Quest list updated. Yes, I completed it. Nice. Right, where am I? Sunken village. Okay. We are now in the sunken village. What's going on? Ooh, there's some sea creatures. Oh, another boss. Are you kidding me right now? How many? Oh, I see. So I think it's best if I wait. I mean, it's still going to be tough regardless. Oh, got it. Yeah, I don't think it's smart to do this because you can't, you can't even dodge like this. So I'm going to have to figure out a way. Shoots three times? Yes. So like that did a good amount of damage there. But that's that's it for my MP, so Hmm. What do you do here if you get close? Nothing? I just pummel you? Okay, I guess so. Okay, so I know the strategy now. You basically jump opposite. And then you jump three times. One, two, three. And then you just pummel him with attacks. And that's it. That's the whole strategy. One, two, on the third you jump forward. It's pretty simple actually. As long as it stays like this, 
It'll be fine. Oh yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. He's almost dead. Oh god. And again, you jump opposite. It's actually one of the easiest boss battles in the game. Like, it's incredibly... If this was the first boss of the game, it would be so easy, actually. Like, so much more doable. Where are you at? Whoops. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Oh, shoot. I did it wrong. It's okay. I think you're still dead. And I got you. You win. Watch this stupid thing of the max HP increase. Amphibian ability acquired. Oh, I can now swim. Maximum HP hasn't reached. That is so stupid. So let me just make sure I can... It just swims, right? I can just swim now? Allows you to swim. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, having the swimming ability, that doesn't really unlock anything previously in the game. A lot of places where I wasn't able to swim... I, yeah, I don't think that's going to really do anything. Hmm. What does this room look like? Uh, looks like there's two entry points from the left side. Huh. Another locked chest. What is going on here? Now there are six locked things that I need to worry about. And I'm, it's going to be a little hard to remember all these. This is where the boss was? Okay. Like, can I please just get a key that will help me? This is just a lot of stuff that I can't do right now. All these locked chests everywhere in the world. That was another glitch? Yeah, this game is buggy as hell, as you know. It's very glitchy. <laughs> it's pretty common that you'll get, you know, a bug. You'll experience a bug here and there. Okay, let's go into the water again. So yeah, it has only one exit to the right. Uh, maneuvering in the water is actually pretty terrible. You're very slow. You can't do anything except attack and move up and down and you do it very sluggishly. So it's not exactly idea. Are these enemies? No, right? I don't think they are. Let me see. I don't think they are now. Oh my god, what is that thing over there? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna definitely ignore you. Oh. Did he just jump down? Oh my god, you did. Okay, and again, I haven't saved yet. It is very important to, to know that. Because if I die, I have to redo the boss battle. Maybe I should have backtracked in as soon as I got... You know, the ability. Okay, there's not really anything in here. What is going on? Oh, he jumps automatically. I thought you have to actually press the jump. No, you don't. Okay, more eyes up here. Hopefully I get a save soon. All right, next room. Nope, nothing here. I can go either up or right. Okay, thank God that guy killed himself. Uh, let's actually check. Okay, that one's easy to get to. Um, I guess I'll check the room. Now that I'm here, might as well see what is available over here. Oh, there's a warp, okay. Uh, nothing else though, so just to teleport. I'm gonna go back to Mallory's room. I want to see if you can upgrade the water ability, the swimming thing. Uh, you can. Increase the swimming speed. Yeah, I'll do it. That is very well worth it. Um, okay. That's it for that. Um, I guess I gotta start upgrading these then. A thousand. I'll leave that one there. Okay. That's fine. 
I'll, um, I'll hit these again. Give me all of this, okay? Um, now it's time to go back to the... Actually, wait, I didn't save. I should save. Yeah, so now, again, there are six things to unlock. Five of those are treasures. Let's, uh, wait. Yeah, we're going into Mallory's room. And here we're warping into the hidden room. There's only one fast travel location left in the game. We're also missing two familiars, several amulets, actually. Okay, anything up here? Aha, there's some stuff here. Probably just a bunch of eyes. What a nice little secret, huh? Yeah, it was all just eyes. Okay. That's pretty good right there. And let's see. In here, there's something down this way. Well, there's also something up there, though. Yeah, that's right, kill yourself. All of you, oh my god, everybody just committed suicide trying to chase me. <laughs> Three enemies just launched themselves at me and basically killed themselves. Come on, do the same thing, dude. Get over here. That'd be so funny if you do that. Oh, he's totally gonna do it. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's just four enemies that just completely murdered themselves. That's so f I like games sometimes when the enemies are so stupid because you can just see some real funny AI. Alright. I wasn't even planning on fighting that thing, but I guess I did. Okay, this just goes back this way. Yeah, so there's nothing else on that side. Got that one too? Yeah, those are actually pretty easy enemies to deal with. Oh shoot, okay, well there's another down there. No, no. No, get down and do your spit acid. Oh my god. Okay, um... Kill it. What the hell, I just spawned up at the top up here. This is a humongous room, by the way. Oh, look at that. I see some secret here. No, it's not. I I'm wrong. It kind of looked like it. Okay, should be close to the end of the room here, right? Yes. Alright, that's it for the room. Next one. Okay, this one I can only go to the right. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the water kills all enemies, too. Nothing there. I think there's like eyes right there. There's a pack of eyes there, but I'm not going to destroy that. It's fine. Let's keep going. Oh, shoot. All right, here we go. Okay, it's pretty linear here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, here there's two ways it looks like. What's over here? Is that the exit? That is the exit, so I want to check down here first. Because we know it's not another pathway. Oh, it's just, uh... Oh, I see. Is this even worth it then? Let's 
That's kind of a lot here. Got some kills. That's good enough. It's fine. Let's get out of there. There was a lot going on down there. Okay, next room. What do we have in this one? This one, it's a safe point and it also just goes down. Okay. Okay, where's the save? Anything down here in the water? Uh, just eyes. Okay, we'll take it, I guess. So yes, moving in the water now is a little bit more tolerable now that I got that upgrade of 25% speed. It's still not that good, but it's good enough, I guess. Can I stand? Yes, I can. Don't think I can actually find anything over here, though. No, that was just where I, yeah, came from the other side. A lot of eyes. There's like a pathway down there. That's going to be where I go. But I think the save room or the save point should be somewhere on the right then. I'm just exploring like every corner possible, you know. I think, yeah, I've already been here. Okay. You never know when they try to hide something. Looks like there's also two ways to go here. Um, there's this pathway down, and then there's the actual exit going down. So, I'm going to explore over here first. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I thought that was going to take me somewhere else now. My head is pounding. I shouldn't touch this thing without a good reason. Interesting. Don't know what that's for, but okay. In that case, we know where to go. Gotta go down here. Okay. Oh, we're now in a new place. Okay. This is just going to be swimming. Oh, great. I'm not even going to bother with these eye things anymore, huh? Well, maybe I should go for them. Okay, so here is one exit to the right only. Even your attack speed is slowed down when you're underwater. It's good that I upgraded it then, because this would have been so obnoxious without the 25% movement speed. And if there's enemies here, I think it's going to be really hard to fight them, being very limited in your mobility here. There's an enemy there, okay. And what's up here? Okay, wait. Up there, I hadn't I had really checked all the way. There's nothing. I don't even want to mess with that enemy, whatever that is. Okay, so they do come after you. Okay, they die in one shot though, so I guess it's not too bad. If they're in your way, just attack them. You should be fine. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. Hmm, wait for this eye to fall down. Okay. There is, yep, nothing else over there either. Wasn't kidding when it said that the room was humongous. But they do give you a lot of eyes here, though. <laughs> if you really want to grind some, you know, it's a good opportunity here. 
two enemies on the left. I didn't see down if there's another pathway. I do have to just make sure. I gotta ensure that, you know. Um, there's not. Okay. I kind of figured. But I just had to be sure. And then that's also a dead end going up there. Okay, new room. This one should be smaller. All right. There's a lot of pathways here that I can take. I mean, I'm sure they're all eventually gonna, you know, just reach one another. That's generally what happens. Another enemy. Let's make sure we get rid of them. Uh, what's up there? There's nothing, okay. That's, okay, that's probably gonna just lead to the next room that's going very far linear. Let me check the bottom pathway really quick. Oh wait, that actually wasn't anything else. I thought there was something else before though. Shoot, do I need to go back? I could have sworn that I saw another pathway down. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to actually check it. I thought in the beginning I saw a second path that led down. It might just have, it might have just been nothing. Like all of this down here. Cause I started from over there, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So if you go like this. There's an enemy here. There was literally nothing. Okay, just an enemy that I missed. Wow. A lot of unnecessary stuff here, huh? <laughs> It's time to get through. Next room. Lots of swimming here. Okay, next, next one. I don't know why they put a random bar in between both of these rooms. Like a line. What the freaking hell? Oh god. It's kind of scary because all you can do is your normal attack in here, so... If you find any enemies that are tougher than these blue spiky fish things, they could give you some problems. It's very possible. There's more. Okay. They're not too bad though, they just attack you with a normal attack. Yeah, it's all straightforward. Oh god, I took some damage there, huh? That's fine. Don't really care too much about that, it's, it's okay. I'm up to 1537 now. Alright, got that one. What was that? That was weird.
1569. And another room done. So far there's been nothing in these rooms. There's got to be a warp over here somewhere. In this sunken area. What, what is this called? It doesn't have a name. Huh, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, jeez. I know I missed that one, but that's okay. Let's check this one. Okay, just more... More eyes. What the heck? Okay. Alright, fairly straightforward room. Oh, we made it. We made it to a save point and out of the water. Okay, this might lead to a boss, that's my guess. It's a dead end. Actually, no, no, it's not. Oh, that's why that was there, because this pathway is going to kind of loop around. Interesting. Well, I do need to check everything to see if there's any, you know, hidden stuff around here. Oh, God. Oh, that was actually a really small room, despite it showing like it was humongous. But it's just cutting across. Okay. This one only has an exit to the left. This should be pretty simple then. Oh, God. There's more eyes in the water. I don't know if I really need to do this. I guess I will. Getting them all. Oh, another one here. Damn, they give you a lot of them down here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check above the water though, all the way back. I can't even see stuff in here, but... Oh, there we go. I think that was the last one. Okay. Well, can I even make it over there? Let's see. I don't think there's gonna be anything. You never know, because they do tend to hide chests sometimes. Well, I'm trying to... How do I do this? No, I, I can't do it. I don't think there's anything. No. Okay. Let's go all the way back left. Okay. Almost. Let's see, I also don't see anything up there. I, I assume both paths were related to the same thing. I've noticed that this game is designed a lot in that both pathways end up, end up going the same way anyway. So it, usually it's not even a big deal which pathway you take. Okay, where are we now? Alright, we gotta go down in this room. Back into the water? Oh, great. Wow. It is, uh... It's a very long and treacherous journey, you know? Kill it, please. Thank you. 
Luckily, the enemies are really simple, but I mean, at least they understood that, that, you know, you're very limited in your abilities underwater, so they had to put really easy enemies. Let me grab that eye, too. Up to 1921. Oh my god, it's a new enemy. That one's a step up. It takes four hits instead of three. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on. Anything up here? Nope. There's nothing up there. That's fine, I took a hit there, but I don't really care. I haven't seen any more mermaids yet, or those whatever they were. I've only seen one so far. Oh, speaking of, shoot. Yeah, because you can't do anything. You can even dodge, so <laughs> you're very limited in what you can do. Be very careful here. Oh, shoot. Oh, he still got me. That's okay. That's alright. Um, anything up here? No, not really. Man, there's some really long rooms. And then there's nothing up to the top either. It's actually very straightforward. Okay. Yeah, there's no pathway up there. So we have to go through down here. Okay, how much more is there? Another room. Okay, this one's gonna go upwards now. At least they give you a lot of eyes, though. Like, I mean, between all this, like, you see, I'm not even really grinding. I'm just going through it one time each and destroying every one of these eye treasures only one time. And I'm actually getting a pretty good amount. Shit, that one actually hit me. Down to five health now. I have to start being a little more careful. to reach 2300 soon. And I think we're almost out of this room. I saw some like light water up there. Looks like it's the exit. Yeah. Okay, new room. Okay, at least we're back out of the water, but it's not a save room, so I do have to be careful. Oh, that was easy. Next. Okay, no save room here either. Go, go, go. They are coming after me. 
That was a lot of enemies, but it was the most straightforward path ever. And we made it. Oh, yes. Thank God. Let's save. We don't need a warp right now. There's nothing else we can do if we backtrack. So we do have to just keep going. Wow. Okay. I'm just kind of looking here now at what exactly it is that... To be missing. Hmm. Okay. There's got to be a boss over here. I don't see anything else there being possible. It's not a dead end, though. Hey, kiddo. You're so close to becoming human again. All you have to do is open this door and kill the shaman. Come on, do it. Hurry up. Well, what do we have here? If it isn't Hecate, goddess of the underworld, insatiable devourer of the eyes of living things, I she needs to sustain her magical powers. You must be her faithful dog Ogden, Ogden yes? Cram it, Fergus. You're the evil that needs to be destroyed, not me. If I could do it myself, you'd have been dead a long time ago. Did you hear that, boy? Well, now you know. This wicked witch turned you into a monster so she could make you pursue me. Or, did you think she left that door open by accident? Ha <laughs> ha Shut up. Damn it, Fergus. Stop messing with the kid's head. You heard everything, my poor boy. The choice is yours. Oh, wow. I have to make a decision right here? Think about this, Ogden. I've always been there for you and the other kids. Our orphanage is the only safe place in the whole damn town. It's not my fault you turn into a crazy monster, but your crazy friend, Hecate, is right. If you kill me, you'll become human again. Do I just attack? <laughs> oh no. Your choice has been made. Oh, what the heck? Is this like the final boss? Oh, I just totally wasted one, didn't I? Shoot, I did waste one. What the hell? Wait. How do you avoid that? Oh, you have to attack. Oh my god. Is this the final boss? No way. Dude, get your stupid axe out of here. Get away from me, man. Also, the amount of health you have is absolutely ridiculous. Like... That is crazy. I mean, if you're a humanoid, I actually think I may want to equip the amulet then. That will do some improved damage to me because... Oh, that was fast. Here, let's do that too. What is this? Oh, shoot. That was a new one I was not expecting. What the freaking... That's way too fast. That is way too fast. Going down again? Oh, that's so freaking cheap, man. Okay, well, if it goes down the same way every time, it's not as cheap as I thought. But still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shoot, I just wasted my spit acid. What now? What now? Okay, so so far your moveset actually is very tolerable. There's nothing overly crazy about this right now. It's just that you have a ridiculous amount of health. Like it's absolutely insane how much they gave her. This has got to be a final boss then, right? Like, I don't see why... But there was so much that I think I missed still. I'm getting you down there eventually. I also have another spit... Oh, no. Now this is going to be crazier, I think. So what, you do two, and then... This actually is a little bit more rough. Oh god. Oh 
Oh my god. Make sure you don't mess up here. You're almost dead, you're almost dead. Please, please don't tell me there's a part two to this. I swear to god. I got you. That wasn't too bad. You made the right decision, boy. But you'll never be human again. I'm very sorry, but it's just impossible. But if you think about it, living in the guise of a monster isn't really the worst thing in the world. You've got friends, innocent souls without anyone else to turn to, so devote yourself to helping them and protecting them against evil. You can take Mallory's place at the orphanage. My wife, Brienne, and I will help you. She'll bring food to the orphanage a couple of times a week, so there'll be plenty for everyone. I'm sure the kids will love her. Oh, well, one more thing. Now that you're the protector of those children, I'll give you a little gift. All your abilities have been fully upgraded. Run along now, Ogden. What the heck? Uh... What do you mean all my abilities have been fully upgraded? Uh... Allows you to heal yourself on 10. Maybe it allows you to swim. I don't see any differences here. Allows you to execute an enemy condition. The execute icon appears. Feral Rage? Huh. What, so I just enter here, I guess? Should I save? Maybe I should save. Well, yeah, just take a... Yeah. I guess I'll save. I don't know what's going on here. Like, is this the end? But there's still, like, so many quests and stuff that I wasn't able to do. I, didn't, I never got that key. Don't tell me that was the final boss and, like, that was it. Let's see. Let's see here. There is still more to do here. There's more. There's multiple doors. Okay. Let's take on one of these doors. Equip amulet. I can still only equip one amulet. That's um unfortunate. Yeah, like, like, I don't know how else to do the rest of the... Like, how do I open those treasures? Who's this? Hey there, little critter. My name's Brandon. Nice to meet you. I'm really glad you made the right choice back there. I know you've been having a, a tough time of it lately. That's it. So, I'm definitely missing something because... I mean, this video is over. I'm at this much time, but I don't know. If, is this the finale? I have no idea. Because... Now, like, like the map has basically been fully explored except for like that one place in the middle led to a door and a cage monster trapped inside or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Um, okay. G give me one sec. I, I guess I'll go over there. Okay, by the way, when he said that um, all abilities have been fully upgraded, I think he was talking about like if I were to want to upgrade something, it's already been fully upgraded. So I don't need to spend any more ice to upgrade them. That's what I think he's saying. So, we'll see. Okay, let's go in here and see if I can do something. Oh, see, I was supposed to do this. Spectral Incursion Ability Acquired. You can now break the treasures. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? This is what I was supposed to do earlier? Okay, well, I mean... And now this is gone. Let's go down this secret passageway that I guess I could have done earlier. What is this? See, I, I, I should have been doing this a long time ago. I got a zombie familiar. Okay. There's all that right there. Alright, so now I guess I'm going to go back to all of those, um, the five other chests that I never went to. And I'll show off all of these things. Well, I guess as I get them, I can do it. Like, for example, the zombie. They fly to an enemy, attack it, and die. They respawn after seven seconds. 
Okay, that's kind of funny. All right, that's that one. Let me just cut to the other ones. So back here into Mallory's room, Mallory is obviously not in here because I chose this ending instead of, but there is this treasure here that I could have gotten a long time ago if I had done a spectral incursion beforehand. Amulet obtains spirit of putrefaction. Okay. Okay, so here in the Western Cemetery, if you just take the warp, if you go left one and enter the catacombs in this very first room, if you simply jump up to the top and you go all the way in the top left corner, this will take you to another treasure here. Amulet obtained Forest King. I'll talk about all these once I get them all. But that's another one done. Okay, next one is in the Gravedigger's room. In this room, the chest is literally right here. This contains the Heirloom Ring. I figured it would be that. Okay, so in this room where we fought that sea monster enemy that gave us a swim swimming ability, if you go to the right and then you go up here, it takes you to a locked chest. And this one gives us the Possessed Amulet. Okay, and then back over here in this room, underneath where you fought the mayor, there's another locked chest here. And this one contains... Bag of coins. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, this I actually need, I think, to turn into the... In front of Mallory's house, I'm guessing. Is it you? That's Rudy. Hey, that's my mom's ring. Where did you find it? Please take me there. Okay, now we're gonna get warped over here. So this is where my parents are buried. How did you know where to find a ring, Ogden? You can see ghosts and you can talk to them and everything? I'd give anything to my parents again. I wish they were here with me right now. Oh, son. What do we got? Questless updated. Thank you for helping to see our son. It was very important to our family. Accept this amulet in gratitude. We got the pain devourer. Okay. And now we're gonna go back to Mallory's room again because I think the person outside is going to want this bag of coins. Holy cow, that bag is stuffed with coins. Where'd you get it? Hey, actually, who cares? Thanks. That's it. What do I get in return? What? Nothing else? What about you? Well, you know. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, of course. And then you're in here? Change? What the heck? Okay. So if you take this ending, you're also not allowed to ever upgrade your um, abilities. He doesn't give you an option, but they're all already upgraded. I think even new ones that you get, I'm assuming. Anyway, the ones that we got are Pain Devour, Taking Damage Generates an Explosion of Internal Energy. Possess increases attack speed. Pretty cool. Spirit of Pure Putrefaction creates a gas cloud around you that damages enemies. Stone. Oh, we already had that one. Forest King. When using a safe one, you summon fairies that protect you. Every time you take damage, you lose one fairy instead of health. So, before I end this video and this series, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great day.